Okay, good afternoon. This is a Papa Crackpot here. We're going to do a bit of a quick review on the solar watering system that we have now had set up for eight days. Uh, the cows have actually been on it for eight days. So we've got a couple of cows drinking right now. The trough is full. The pump just stopped pumping. It is 2.30 in the afternoon Saskatchewan time. So we have a kind of poor sun today. It's not the best, but uh, we have actually had uh, a lot of overcast days in the last week. So even with the overcast days and 100 cows on this, the system is still holding its own. We have not had to do a false charge or a mechanical charge on this thing. The two solar panels are working and doing the job. So uh, there's been a couple days it's gotten pretty low, but for the most part it's working okay. It's keeping up to the cows without any trouble. So some of the issues that we notice, we did bring the wrong trough. We do have an old tire trough. We should have brought it over instead. This one does freeze. We've had colder nights than what there was forecast. We're getting down to minus 13 sometimes so in the morning i have to come over chop it to free it and then i have to thaw around where the float is here so that the because the float is in a layer of ice so i just use some hot water and thaw this area so that i know it's not going to get a chunk of ice to to block it and cause other problems so it is freezing over overnight but the cows for the most part keep it free during the day our drain back line did freeze within a couple of days. I think it's just too small. It was running too slow. And so the, as the outside of it started to freeze off, it just froze off the whole thing. I think you bumped the float. So it just started pumping again. Um, just, just hang on. So now that it's pumping, we can see here that the load is drawing 24 volts, 12.2 amps. That's all that pump draws, and it's moving up about 15 gallons a minute off of that little amperage, which is pretty neat. A lot of water for a little bit of power. Yep. So uh, a couple other issues that we've noticed is with this electric fencing system, having these reels hung upside down, as I talked about in the last, in the first video, something I didn't realize was that the catch, the tension catch on the, all these reels is just gravity. So if I tighten them and then hang them upside down, if the cows bump the handle, which they can do on the wrong side here, they can instantly release the tension and I lose all the tension on the wires and it causes problems. They have bent this one all up. They bent that rod all up. They've knocked the insulators off a couple times and had to put it all back together. So that's why it's kind of hanging in a sideways plan now. So just learning the hard way. How do things look down in the dugout? Down in the dugout, which we may have ish, we may have talked about before. This is a very small dugout. It's just a puddle. There might be a total of five feet of water, maybe six feet of water down there. It has dropped probably, I'm going to say, 16 inches in the last week. The water does come in at night, and that's why you can see the horseshoe-shaped uh, layer of different kind of ice. It's because the water does come in. It cracks. It will crack and lift the center of the dugout up a little bit, the ice and then it will flow in and fill in that gap. So it, it's coming in at night, but it's coming in slower than what the cows are consuming. So we're actually drawing down the level of its dugout. I don't know how long it will last, but uh, so far it's been a week. We'll probably get two more weeks out of it. If we could get a little bit of more snow, we have a little bit here, but it's not quite enough for the cows to survive off of it. Have you had any trouble with the main pump line freezing? None, and it's just overflowing for the first time. Maybe you shouldn't have played with the float. That's the first time we've had that happen. Yep. It's because of this. Oh, yes. We'll have to do something about that. There. Did something about that. Okay, let's go back to the dugout for a second. Okay, well, now we're down in the bottom of the, of the dugout. Actually, we're above the water level, obviously, but we're down in the dugout, same as we were last time. You can see this is where the water level was. It's gone down quite a bit. I don't want to get out there too far because the ice underneath me is hollow. So one of the things that I learned while this was happening was as the water table went down, it froze the ice in two or three different levels. So because the pump is quite a ways below this float, like about a foot below the float, and the, the hose is hooked down to the bottom of the pump, when the ice freezes in the different levels like this, it's actually leaving a gap about this much between the bottom of the ice and the top of the water so we don't ever have to worry about this freezing because when it drains back down it is now below the level of the ice is where the water is at even in the hose so the next time it wants to start up it is in flowing water so it just starts to pump back up and fills the line 
fills the trough and then when the trough is full it just drains it all back down again yes it looks like it's going to be frozen but it does not freeze it does not cause a problem at all and it's just a a lucky thing that worked out because the water level is dropping it has left a gap is there something that we could do if the water level wasn't dropping like that that would help to make this not an issue even if the water was up right at the bottom of the ice yes we could put a um, a lot of people put an old piece of carpet or an old coat or something over top of the hole to insulate it and that will help uh, on the decent days like today, today is uh, just around freezing but if it got down to minus 20 or minus 30 it will still help but it won't stop the problem of freezing okay do you have any other comments or anything else to add about the system out here i don't what would you do differently besides us having brought the the better trough over is there anything uh, you do differently I cannot think of anything off the top of my head right now that we would do differently other than bringing over that uh, heavy black tire trough for uh, the watering system. I can't think of anything different. This thing about the float being stuck in a different layer of ice has been a benefit that I had not thought of, but it is fantastic as far as I can, I'm concerned. We might have just skipped the whole drain back idea. Um, Especially if we had the other trough. Yeah, especially if we had the other trough, we would go without the drain back idea for sure. But um, otherwise, it was all good in theory. It just didn't work in practicality, which happens sometimes. It's just the way of life. Uh, are you worried about there not being enough water out here? Or do you think we'll be sufficient for another week or two? There will be sufficient water for as long as we need to have the cows out here, one way or another. When we run out of water, that means the cows, it's, it's time for them to move to a different spot anyways. So we will have enough water. It's just not going to be an overabundance. Fun. Okay, in closing today, I think that uh, if we had to do anything different, we would possibly add one more of these panels or another panel of some kind in order to give us more charge because if I know you can't see the sun, but uh, this panel and this panel face slightly to the east and the sun is already to the west. And so we, we set it up so it gets an early morning charge, but because of that, we're not getting the late afternoon sun. And so we would set another panel up turned a little bit to the west in order to take advantage of the the afternoon sun. The days are going to get shorter yet for another month. I'm hoping to get another three weeks of grazing out of this. So hopefully this, the system is holding its own so far. So hopefully it keeps going that way. So that would be about the only thing that we would do different yet is to just add one more panel. Okay. Thanks everybody for watching and we'll keep you updated uh, as to how the system keeps performing as it gets colder.